Public policies, otherwise known as government policies, can be divided into different types. Welcome back to Public Administration 101. Quick Lesson Edition, proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants, for professional advice you can trust. In this video, we will list and explain the various types of public policies. Please note that this video is a follow-up on our previous video on public policy process, which you can find on our channel. While on the topic of our channel, please make sure that you support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Now, let us get into today's video. But before we get into the various types of public policy, it's important that we define what public policy is. Public policy is a set of laws, guidelines, and actions decided and taken by the government in order to work in favor of the public. In simple terms, it is government's plan of action. According to Professor Thomas Dye, public policy is essentially whatever governments choose to do or not to do on any particular matter concerning the public. As indicated, to understand more about public policy, we suggest that you check out our video on public policy process. Look out for the link to that video in the description below this video. Now, back to today's video. Although political scientist Theodore J. Lowy proposed four types of public policy, namely distributive, redistributive, regulatory, and constituent, some authors and scholars have argued for a fifth type, being substantive public policy. We will now briefly discuss each of these types. Public policies, which are focused on using government funds to pay for public goods or services, are distributive in nature. A distributive public policy may directly impact only a certain group of individuals or organizations, but generally provide for the common good. This means that, these policies, are specially planned for a particular segment of society, and are focused on solving societal issues, such as health services, public welfare, etc. Examples of distributive public policies are Equal job opportunities Allocation of educational grants Farm assistance programs, just to list a few The next type of public policy is redistributive public policy. This is when government policies are developed and implemented with the main aim of redistributing government funds or other resources to benefit a particular group within society. The main aim of these policies is to transfer or reallocate costs, benefits, and other resources from one collective group to another with the intention of redesigning or modifying distribution of resources to affect social and economic change. Examples of redistributive public policies are Welfare policies, policy on land ownership, progressive taxation policies, to list just a few. The next type of public policy is a regulatory public policy. This is when a government endeavors to achieve its objectives through the use of regulations, laws, and other instruments in order to deliver better economic and social outcomes, and thus enhance the life of citizens and improves the operating environment for businesses. In other words, regulatory public policy is when a government introduces laws and regulations to clearly define the boundaries of what is allowed versus what is not allowed by placing restrictions on what individuals, businesses, or organizations can do, for the purpose of protecting, the overall economic and social welfare. Examples of regulatory public policies are Policy on environmental protection Policy on consumer protection Policy on migration, to name just a few. 
The next type of public policy is a constituent public policy. These are public policies that relate to how government is structured. These policies essentially relate to the creation or the improvement or even the reconstruction of governmental institutions or organs, including assigning or reassigning powers and authority to such government institutions or organs. Examples of constituent public policies will include creation of new organs of state, changing in the rules of parliament, assigning new powers to a state organ. The last, but certainly not least, is substantive public policies. We can explain these types of policies like this. If public policy refers to what government chooses to do or not to do, then substantive policies address what governments should actually do. These are the policies which are concerned with the general welfare and development of the society, such as the provision of education and employment opportunities, economic stabilization, law and order enforcement, etc. These policies do not cater to any particular or privileged section of society and have to be formulated, keeping in mind the goals and characteristics of the constitution and the principles of the state, as well as the current and moral claims of the society. In conclusion, public policies can be regarded as decisions taken by the government in order to achieve certain goals and objectives for the welfare of its people and the running of its country, as well as the country's position on global issues. It is therefore important to understand the various types of public policies, because these are ultimately decisions made by those in power to affect nearly every aspect of our daily lives, including education, healthcare, transportation, the economy, our safety, and national security, etc. This video, on the various types of public policy, was proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust. We would again like to remind you to check out the other video on public policy process under our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. And you can also engage with us by leaving us a comment under this video or follow us on social media at Consult Kano or tag us using the hashtag Consult Kano. Join us again next time for another video. Until then, check out these other videos.